Sunday here at Camden Yards, it is the Brooks Robinson High School All-Star Game. Following the game, 135 to close out the homestand against the Rays. This is the best high school baseball players in the entire state. They'll split the state right in half. Northern Maryland will take on Southern Maryland. And Steve Molesky spoke with Brooksy about his continued involvement with this high school All-Star Showcase. Well, it is special for me. This goes back 30-something years when I was doing some work for Crown Central Petroleum. And, and uh, the high school coaches, I talked to a couple of them, and I said, well, let's do a game. And, uh, of course, they have. Uh, we, we started that. And, and then when uh, Crown kind of folded up, uh, we started Joe Geyer from Geyer Financial asked to do it, and he's a friend of mine, so he does uh, the financial part of this game, which is really important. But this is great for the kids. This is the best high school kids uh, baseball-wise in the state of Maryland. Uh, they have workouts, tryouts, and there's a number of coaches that pick the team. And I will tell you, uh, these kids stack up against any state as far as baseball is concerned. They can play. We've got a lot of kids who played in this game. Mark Deshera, he played in this game. He's with the Yankees, Billy Ripken, Gavin Floyd, and the list goes on and on of kids who have played here and went on to be uh, big league players and do well. Yeah, from Memorial Stadium to Camden Yards with this game, right? That's right, absolutely. So, Brooks, what is it like to be back at Oriole Park at Camden Yards? I know you're, you're here from time to time. Uh, I, Oriole fans love to see you whenever they can. What's it like to be back today? Oh, I like to come back. I just like there's a beautiful stadium here, and I get down here every now and then, but usually on business. I sneak in, sneak out. I watch a lot of games on TV, but I talk to the guys I've played with a lot, Boog and Rick Dempsey, Jim Palmer. We, we get on, we talk to one another quite a bit on telephone calls and things, so it's great to be here here and uh, pull for the Orioles and hopefully they can get things going. Absolutely. <laughs> and, you know, since 2012, the Orioles have been a winning team, a contending team, two playoffs, yeah. division title last year was exciting. Uh, what, what, for many years, guys who, who set the history of this franchise like yourself didn't see winning baseball yeah. and it returned in 2012. What has that been like for you and the Oriole alumni to watch? Well, we waited a long time, that's for sure. I don't know how you can go 14 years, I think, without being a 500 team, but it, it happened here. But to see what's happened here in the last few years, it, it makes all of us happy. I mean, there's a great tradition here, a baseball tradition, and and uh, to see uh, the players out there today and see what they're doing, and they're struggling a little little now, but, uh, you know, it's uh, it, the, the whole division's not really impressive. And But the Orioles, I think, overall have the best pitching, and in the long run, that might prevail. I sure hope so. But it's great to be back here and talk to all these young kids. It reminds me to get a chance to play here at Camden Yards. Got to be a thrill. I remember going up in Little Rock. I used to go work out with the Little Rock Travelers. They were a double A team in the Southern Association. And just to put on my uniform and go out there and shag balls and get a chance to hit once in a while, it was a big deal. Mm -hmm. Hey, now, last speaking of big deals, last October, you were in the Oriole Clubhouse the day before they played the Tigers right. and talked to the team. They would go in to sweep the Tigers, so you must have <laughs> had a special message. What was that like for you? Well, it was nice. Buck asked me to come in and say a few words. And I I just tried to impress on the guys how tough it is to become a world's champion. It's not easy. You can have great ball club, but when you start playing four out of seven and three out of five like they have in the playoffs, at least they used to, boy, you you know, you, you, you just the best team doesn't always win. But I just tried to impress them. If they win the world's championship, the guys they played with, they never forget them. Every time I think about Vic Rosnowski, David Johnson, Mark Belanger, I get a big Big smile on my face and you never forget about those guys and the great times that you had. Now you won 16 gold gloves playing yeah. third base. Yeah. The Orioles have a young kid named Manny Machado who's only 15 behind you, but he's pretty good defensively too, as we've seen. Well, what do you think when you watch Manny play third? Well, Manny's a terrific player. He really is. He can play third base. He can play shortstop or any place he wants to play. Got a great arm. <coughs> Excuse me, great arm, and uh, he's just an outstanding third baseman. He's young and he has to overcome a couple knee operations, and I think he's done that. So. 
he's going to be here for a long time and be, he's going to win a lot of gold gloves. I've spoken to Manny a few times and he's a wonderful kid and, uh, and it's hard he is too. I was in New York last year presenting him with gold gloves and they're both great guys, great, I say kids, but they're great guys and I'm happy for him. If he plays long enough, can he get close to your record of 16? Sure, he can do that too, you know. I mean, we don't count pitchers. There's been two pitchers. Jim Cott has uh, 16 and then some in the Boston, the uh, Atlanta Brave pitcher have 17. But pitch, yeah, pitchers don't count. Yeah. <laughs>